Hi there everyone, my name is Nina Chanelli. I'm a certified hair loss practitioner and owner of Crown Hair Care Products. Now, are you wondering why some products work on some people's hair types and they don't work on yours? Even if it's like, okay, for example, you have horsey hair and you watch somebody on YouTube that also has horsey hair and then you go and buy the products that they just used and it doesn't work on you. And you're like, what is going on? Well, I have the answer for you guys and I'm here to explain to you so that you can unlock the best health hair that you could ever even dream of. Like I'm telling you, I'm so thankful for my products and what they have done for my hair. I cried in the video, like these products, they really, really work once you understand your hair porosity and complete hair type. So before you even start your hair care journey, you're gonna wanna give yourself a consultation. If you can't come to somebody like me, who is a hair care enthusiast and certified hair loss practitioner, you need to do your own consultation. And during this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself, figure out your porosity and what products to use for it. Now, when it comes to hair types, there's a couple of different classifications and different categories. So let's start with the one that we all know about, which is the Andre Walker hair classification system. So that includes type one, type two, type three, and type four hair. So type one is straight, type two is wavy, and type three is curly, type four is kinky. You also need to understand your hair texture as far as is it thin, is it thick, is it coarse? And we're not talking about all of the hair, we're talking about strand by strand. If you take one strand of your hair, is it a thin, fine texture or is it a coarse texture? When you have thin, fine hair, your, pro your hair probably doesn't like a whole lot of products because it's very, thin and it doesn't it, it, it's easily weighed down so if you have thin fine hair i would use lighter weight products as well as drier oils oils that don't have a higher molecular structure i would use low porosity things because low porosity also goes with the fine hair textures just because they both use small um, small molecularly structured oils as well as a lightweight product when it comes to coarse hair that's very thick in circumference that can use shea butter, butters, heavier products without it being weighed down because it's thicker. Your hair can also be thin or it can be dense. It can be thinning or it can be dense. So my hair, for instance, is very dense because if I take one square inch of my hair, there's a lot of hair follicles there with hair coming out. Very dense hair, lots of hair, and it's like very compact. So when people say their hair is thinning, it's not necessarily that their actual strands of hair are getting thin, it is the patch, the, the one inch space right here now has less. That's what it means when people say they're thinning. So now we have all of that. So I am a type three, I would say type three B for my hair. I have coarse hair, it is not fine, it's very thick and very dense, so it is not thinning. My hair porosity is normal. It used to be high, but with the help of my products, I have fixed it completely. For Let's talk about low, high, and medium or normal porosity. Now, low porosity here. Let's figure out if you have low or high or normal porosity before we even get to the actual science and, and testing of it. So let's see if you guys got it correctly. So if you have low porosity hair, here's some characteristics of low porosity hair. So for one, it cannot absorb water. It does absorb water eventually, but it takes a long time to absorb water. It also takes a long time to dry. So once it does get the water, it won't let it go because the cuticles are so tight and packed in. So again, you have to use small molecularly structured oils or products that include stuff like that. When you have low porosity hair, sometimes, not all the time, it is protein sensitive. <clears throat> low porosity hair also gets a lot of product buildup because the cuticles are so tight, they don't let anything in. So they all of the particles remain on the surface of the hair and create that product buildup. So if you have low porosity hair, I would highly suggest in super moisturizing it. It gets dry easy and brittle just because it's not able to take in water so good. Um, I would also make sure that you always do shampoo and try out the Crown Hair Care products. The Coral Lux line for low porosity is amazing and we're going to see how it works later on in the Let's video. talk about high porosity hair. I actually had high porosity hair because I was doing a lot of straightening of my hair, damaging it by not using good products and bleaching it. So it removed the proteins from my hair, making it extremely weak and leaving the cuticles open. So it was horrible. Now it's normal, so I'm all good. And I just found that out in this video, but that was great. 
but if your hair is high porosity, the cuticles are open, so it easily takes in water, but it easily lets the water back out. So you might find yourself constantly moisturizing, moisturizing, moisturizing. You might need some protein just in case it's weak. The goal is to actually become normal porosity hair. And when it comes to high porosity hair, you don't have to use any heat to get the products to soak in. You can just do a deep conditioner without heat because your cuticles are already open. When you put heat to your hair, it opens the cuticles and that's why it was getting damaged. And that's how it turns to high porosity from opening the cuticles too fast, too much, too harsh, too much heat, too much chemicals, a whole bunch of stuff like that. So also if you have low porosity hair, you wanna make sure that you're doing a deep conditioner and you use heat. So with high porosity hair, you might want to use heavier things again like butters and oils on top of your leave-in conditioner just so that you can seal it in. The best people to use the LOC or LCO method, which is leave-in conditioner oil and cream or leave-in conditioner cream and oil. That is the ultimate moisture method. You layer your products from thin to thickest and the best people to that would be the high porosity group. I do not suggest the lock method for low porosity hair because we don't want to get product buildup. So now I want to go ahead and do an experiment. I want to show you guys how you can actually figure out your hair type with just a cup of water. Hey guys, I'm here on the microscope trying to look at what my hair looks like before I started using the protein high porosity products. So I've only been using it for like two weeks. So it shouldn't be like a huge difference, but I just want to see. I had to take this out of my brush. So there's like some lint in there. So if you see some like white parts on there, like that's not my hair. So here's my hair. I'm just trying to look to see if it, the cuticle is damaged. So there's the difference. Now you can clearly see the difference. Here's the darker strand and here is the thinner strand lighter strand so that tells me that my hair is getting thinner as it's growing out and just being damaged because this is a hair that is more from the root of my hair which is why it's so dark and then so this definitely tells me that my hair is getting thin at the end so i would need protein at the end of my hair um i don't really see a whole lot of damage to the actual strands of hair I didn't see any damage, so that's really good to know because my hair used to be extremely damaged and porous because I used to bleach my hair. And you know, when you bleach your hair, it removes the proteins from here. It removes the, like the cuticles right there and then you're left with a holy type of porous hair. So I have my hair right here. This is my hair and this has been shampooed and deep conditioned and I just took the hair out the brush. So that's what this is. And I'm just gonna put it into some room temperature water and we're just gonna let it soak. Maybe I put way too much. I... Okay, here's much less because that was probably gonna take a long time to soak in. So when you're doing it, just put in a little. As we put it in there, <clears throat> You can see that it's starting to sink down. It uh, soaked in the water, so that makes sense because I have high porosity hair. So when you have high porosity hair, your hair is going to sink in the water. Let it stay in there for a couple of minutes and see what it does. Let's take, take a look. look. So it's, majority of it is here in the middle. There's some at the top and some at the bottom, so um, that is awesome to know. That means I have normal hair porosity and I'm very excited about that because that makes sense because I just looked at all of the microscope in the microscopes and those and we saw that my hair was uh, it looked pretty good. So I'm actually very happy because you know I've been using crown hair care products for over uh, six seven years now. So the fact that my hair went from high porosity to now normal porosity. I'm so happy about it means my hair is not damaged anymore. I have successfully rebuilt the holes in my hair. It's no more hair for us. I'm so excited. I'm really, I'm like, wow. Um, to be honest, because I've been telling people I have high porosity hair, but now I've literally fixed it. So that's, I'm, I'm really happy about that. But anyways, let's look at the low porosity one. So guess what? I have another cup of water with some more hair. This hair actually came off of a wig head. So we'll see what kind of porosity this is as well. Floated to the top. This again is from a wig, so it is Peruvian hair. 
it is at the top. So it's not damaged at all, so that's great too. It just has a harder time um, putting water inside, pen having water penetrate, which is why it stays at the top, because it's acting like kind of like a waterproof thing, like a floaty. Um, so it's floating and it's not allowing the water to go in and it sink. So this is low porosity. High porosity, it would have sunk all the way to the bottom because it's porous and it would have taken in the water and been heavy and sunk to the bottom. And normal, it stays in the middle. Here we have the low porosity hair. You want to use a shampoo. And this is why. Because with low porosity hair, the cuticles are extremely tight. So you have to open the cuticles first in order to get it ready to take in any moisture from your deep conditioner. So as you can see, I'm just shampooing it and then we'll rinse it off. Usually you wanna let your shampoo stay on your hair for at least three to five minutes to let it open up the cuticles properly, especially if you have low porosity hair and you wanna thoroughly clean your hair, make sure that your hair is clean. Healthy hair is clean hair, clean hair is healthy hair. Let's just rinse it off. Okay, so I just rinsed that off and now we'll put it back into the water, the room temperature water, the sides. And look, it went right to the middle. Wow. Do you guys see that? It went directly to the middle this time. So now it's normal porosity. So as you can see, that same exact hair is low porosity until you use shampoo. So please stop skipping the shampoo, okay? It's a myth to not use shampoo. Just use shampoo that doesn't have sulfates, which is this one right here. This is the Onyx Cleanse Black Soap Based Shampoo. It is black, not because of the black soap, because we all know that black soap is brown. Authentic black soap is a brown marble color. This is black because I colored it with carbon, and the carbon is from coconuts, and carbon is a detoxifying agent. So that's in here. I'm just, I just feel so happy that my products work. Like, I'm, for real like i have worked for seven i could cry i've worked for seven years on this business okay sorry i i have worked for seven years on this business i've reformulated all the products so many different times i've stopped my business so many different times because i've been dealing with a lot of like life issues but Okay, this is, whoo, wow, I'm good. I've been through, I've been through the happiness, sadness already, I'm good. I just, to see the scientific results proven, to see that my products really do work, it's just really, you know. And then, especially with my hair, I just showed you guys, I used to have very high porosity hair, and then this is the first time I'm testing it on camera, and it's normal porosity, like because I've been using only my products and look what it's done, it's fixed my hair. So, here we are. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my hair porosity video. I know it was an emotional roller coaster, but I hope you guys have learned a lot. Again, I want to reiterate that you can buy these products. You can buy the high or low porosity growth set growth starter kit on crownhaircarecrowth.com. It is an $80 set, which includes your Onyx Cleanse detoxifying shampoo, your leave-in conditioner, whether you're high or low porosity, as well as the deep conditioner, and also your vitamin scalp serum, which is the water-based, waterless shampoo growth hair serum. And that's it. So it comes with those four items. You do get to save a couple of dollars by buying the set. I also have a Shea Bay whipped butter with Shea Bay sauce at the bottom. Look how fun that is. And also my brand new hair and body oil, which is awesome for high and low porosity hair. Remember we talked about the molecularly structured oils. These are very small molecularly structured oils. So you don't have to worry about it if you have low porosity hair or you get buildup or anything like that. That oil is awesome for you. It's also really good on the body. It has a lot of high vitamin E content. So if you have any dark spots or anything, it's really, really awesome for you and your body as well. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and check the links down below.